Morning everyone. Today, um, I'm going to try something I've never really done before, but I've always wanted to try. I'm going to do a version of Toad in the Hole, but a breakfast kind of version. Right, I'm going to do a meaty version and I'm also going to do a vegetarian version. Um, for the meaty, I've got some chorizo, sausages and bacon. We've also got some white beans here. Um, for the vegetarian, I've got mushroom, sweet stem, cauliflower, asparagus, onion, tomato. So we're going to have a little mix of all of those and then of course your three main ingredients which are milk, eggs and flour and just fill each one up to the top so you want equal quantities but not weight. First off I'm going to put two pans into a very hot oven about 230 degrees celsius and I'm going to put a good glug of vegetable oil in each so you want to cover the pan like so and those go to the oven. Right we're going to make the batter um, there are a few things to remember with Yorkshire puddings. Um, everyone's got a different version of how they do it. I'm gonna pour the flour into the bowl with a teaspoon of salt. Maybe a little less, half a teaspoon should be plenty. Then I'm going to mix the eggs and the milk together. So just a light stir with a spoon. You don't want to disturb the egg too much because it's when it's snotty, the egg is snotty, that's what creates the, the lift, so the, the more of the bubble that it comes from the, the Yorkshire pudding. Make a little well in the flour and pour your milk and egg mix into the centre. And again, you don't want to mix it too much, less is better. Pouring it, the egg and milk mixture in like that means that you don't have any lumps. Right, I'm going to get these out of the oven, so they've got some very hot pans on their way, almost smoking. Right, I'm going to put the ingredients I want in each pan and they will cook, the, the, um, the chasms take a while to cook. So in each one I want some mushrooms, maybe rip one up, some tomato, I think tomato goes well in breakfast as well, some asparagus, again in both I think, some tender stem um, cauliflower, some beans in the breakfast one, and all our baked beans, some spinach, and then some of the meaty stuff in the breakfast as well. So. Right, give them a good season. Ing. A little bit of salt in each, a little bit of pepper, and then whack them back in the oven. Right, I've had the pans in for about another three to four minutes, so I can hear them starting to sizzle. Look at that. So you just want the hot, pan, the hot pan back to being hot again and then it's time to pour in our batter. So half an each and it's really important that it's really as hot as it can be. Put a nutmeg over the top, a little bit more seasoning, pepper and back into the oven. Let's time to take them out of the oven. As it worked. As, look at those. They look pretty good. Well, I'm going to finish them off with a little bit of watercress. Poached double yolk egg. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> bit of salt, bit of pepper. You have it. Breakfast castle. Get the coffee on.